and welcome back to another video. So, what's up YouTube? It's me, TT. I'm going to be showing you 10 productive apps that you can download to help you stay focused and quality. And before we get onto this video, make sure you check out Jenna Beats because this is actually a collab with her and she recently just gained 1k subscribers. <laughs> And she's on the road to 2k really soon so make sure you show her love and support and let's get on to the video before we get on to the apps make sure you check the link down below if you want to download them I am telling you guys all these apps are 100% completely free so yeah the first app to download is BorrowBox. This is basically a virtual library, except it's completely for free. Unlike Amazon and other subscriptions where you have to pay £7 for each book, this gives tons of free books for you. You can find it from different genres. Here are some of the books that I've got before. And you just pretty much search the book that you want. Sometimes may may not have that book, but like really popular books like Knots and Crosses, they do have. And if you do want a book recommendation, I'll put the card up and down below. And here you can reserve a book like a library if they don't have it and then when you get it they'll send you an email notification for when you should return it and here are just some other books if you are someone that loves making flashcards then quizlet is the best app for it you can literally make um flashcards as much as you want and you can learn you can play you can do tons of stuff that is just built for you and then I feel like this way is like a lot more better because you don't have to make physical flashcards with paper you can literally make it online for free you can create study sets folders classes and if you don't want to make flashcards there's tons of pre-made flashcards that you can also use so right now I'm using like GCSE dance and there's so many you can use like different categories like business and other stuff Because we are in quarantine, it's a perfect time to learn a new language. And on Duolingo, I have found that it is really playful and there are tons of different languages that you can learn. For example, I'm learning Chinese right now and there's different levels and different categories and you win stars, um, the crown thing every time you complete it. They also send you a notification for trying to um, keep on studying, which I think is a really cool feature. And it's just really easy to use and it's one of my favorites. A cool feature that it does is notifications. So it reminds you when to practice and help you continue your streaks. So I don't know about you, but I find it so hard to study in silence. So that's why I've downloaded this app called Study Music. And these musics aren't that upbeat. It's like really helpful for concentrating and focusing and clearing your mind like what it's saying. And it's really, really, really good for meditation and that. So I just like having it on the side and it actually helps me like to not go on my phone as well because there's music playing and it also has an offline mode so if you don't have Wi-Fi at your home you can get this without having Wi-Fi. One of my favourite ways of creating visuals is using mind maps and this app called Mindly does that online for you and there are different colours so if you want like a pastel thing you can pick a pastel thing and then you can write your central thing and it's really easy to use. I think the maximum branches you can have is free branches for the free version. I'm currently using the free version and I think it works just as fine. And yeah, you can add emojis, add your own text, and then I feel like that's a really good way of making my maps online. If you're so 
anyone that likes having a schedule, My Life is such a good app for that. So here you can set tasks, you can put it on a calendar and you can sort it out in different colours if you're someone like me who like visually seeing it. And here I'm just sorting out the due date and what type it is. So this is just a revision, you can give it a subheading, a title, so if you do forget you'll always have this to tell you what lesson it is. basically an app that helps you stay focused while growing a tree so here are just some of the things that it tells you about and then you just press allow and you can actually also join with friends that you have on Facebook and then you can set the duration and the price I'm just setting it at zero pound but if you want to donate money to help grow trees and the good thing about this if you break it the tree dies Photo math is literally a lifesaver. It literally tells you the answer for different algebraic questions instantly. You don't have to wait like five minutes, it gives you it instantly. Unlike a calculator, I found that like can't solve things, you can only like type, you know, times and stuff. Whereas this, all you have to do is put it over um, the question that you want and then it'll give you the steps of how to get the answer and what I feel like this it teaches you as well as giving you the answer, so what to do and then you'll find like if you've done a question you've answered it and you're just checking you'll see where you've gone wrong BBC Bite Size is an app mainly for people in England who has GCSEs but if you're in America or another country you can still learn these skills and topics so I'm just selecting the topics I've got and then we got individual lessons and tests and you can add them and customize them and they've got like live lessons as well and I'm focusing mainly on English, Maths and Science because they're like the course of sub, sub subjects and yeah so here is what the information looks like so it gives you the title and then a description and I just like reading it and then learning it and then you can add it and there's videos as well which is super useful <laughs> guys my camera died so I had to only film the screen record hopefully you can still see it fine and with notes I find it so much useful than other note taking apps because this also transfers it to your Mac if you have a computer which is so useful so you don't have to rewrite it or export it it will just automatically go to the notes on your Mac and here you can do the same like um, the study life you can just write your due dates, you can make tables and the tables can have different things that you need to do or a timetable that you have and you can also customise the text so you can make it bold, you can make it italic and I find it really easy to use and also you can add pictures, you can add bullet points and there's just so many cool features that um, people don't know about then you could also, um, it's really like Microsoft Word but free version and really accessible for the phone. Thank you guys so much for, for watching till the end and I want to say a huge, 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 hu
are 300 subscribers. I'm so grateful for getting just 100 subscribers in just a week. If you do want to find out how to grow your channel, I'll put it in, in the end screen and in the card up and down. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. To the loo!